A recent widely circulated paper by Kenneth Foster and C.K. Chu contended that children and adults absorb the same amount of microwave radiation from cell phones. Our analysis demonstrates that this paper contains multiple systematic errors and that their conclusion is incorrect. We are therefore calling for its retraction. This paper by Foster and Chu, published in IEEE Spectrum in 2014, reviews 23 studies that had used computer models to estimate the dose of absorbed radiation in the heads of adults and children using wireless devices. The authors extracted the specific absorption rates, or the SAR, from each of the models and compared the peak dose for children and adults. Foster and Chu concluded that, quote, simple generalizations found on the internet about kids absorbing more RF energy than adults from cell phones aren't supported by available dosimetry studies, end quote. We looked at the study in detail to determine if the data support this assertion. Foster and Chu present their results in two different ways. The first is this table two, which quotes summary findings from each of the studies that they consider. Even a dedicated reader is unlikely to read this dense text. Instead, most readers will look at their figure one, which shows the ratio of the peak dose in children to the peak dose in adults for each model. In other words, a value above one represents a higher dose in children, and a value below one indicates a higher dose in adults. The figure is divided into four graphs based on the resolution of the model and the frequency range considered. If we look, for example, at the graph for high resolution models in the high frequency range, it appears that only one study found higher doses in children, and most of the studies found higher doses in adults. If we examine this more closely, a different story emerges. These values are below 1, which would indicate a higher dose in adults than children. But according to the summary quoted by Foster and Chu in their own Table 2, that paper found that the smaller models, i.e. the children's models, showed considerably higher doses than adults. Here again, the value in Figure 1 would indicate a higher dose in adults, but the quoted summary concludes that the peak dose in children's was up to 50 to 55 percent higher than adults. And in this case, too, figure one shows a higher dose in adults in direct contradiction to the study summary. This data point indicates substantially higher doses for adults, but the study summary says the dose in children was almost twice as high as adults. Here, even though the study summary quoted in Table 2 concludes there is no difference by age, Foster and Chu present a value suggesting adults have twice the peak dose of children. And there were two other studies not even included in this figure, and both of those studies found higher doses in children. In summary, the data as presented by, in Figure 1 by Foster and Chu suggests that less than a quarter of models found greater peak dose in children and almost half of the studies found a greater dose in adults. However, if we look at the study summaries quoted by Foster and Chu in their Table 2, the majority of studies found a greater dose in children and only a very small minority found higher peak dose in adults. Based on these extensive errors and internal inconsistencies in the presentation of data, and the fact that they appear to be systematic in nature, which is of particular concern given the author's extensive ties to industry, we believe that this paper should be retracted.